president's son, an executive VP at the Trump Organization, Donald Trump Jr. You must agree with everything I just said there. 100 percent, Jesse. <laughs> it was a very astute uh, legal dissertation. Thank there, you but, very much. But it's true. This is the insanity. I mean, I'm watching you know, this week as it's playing out. They're saying, well, what Trump did, Trump tweeted about it, meaning to his millions of followers all over the world, he tweeted about something that already happened, meaning the verdict against Stone, right? They're trying to say that that is the same as when the right was outraged that Loretta Lynch met with Bill Clinton on a private plane on a tarmac in Arizona to talk about golf and grandkids. <laughs> like, let's not pretend they're the same thing. We have no idea what they discussed. We do know that charges were dropped and things weren't pursued after that Bill Clinton meeting. Right. But we have no idea. Trump sends a tweet to billions of people around <laughs> the world after the fact, and he's somehow getting in there and he's meddling with what's going on. I mean, this is the sickness. And of yeah. course, they can't get Trump. They've been trying for three years. They can't, you know, can't do the Russia hoax. They can't do the impeachment. So now they're going to impeach Bill yeah, Barr. this is the next <laughs> thing. And you know what's going to happen. He's going to go out there and testify. He's going to run circles around them. And then they're going to move on to the next thing. But I think what your father has done, he's very focused on the issue of fairness. Correct. You know, Hillary deletes 30,000 emails, nothing, you know, and, and Trump's getting yeah. screwed. If, if Trump deleted 30,000 emails, he'd be in jail right now. Right. Uh, there's a double standard. Or like I mean, Bloomberg Roger gets a box. Stone and McCabe, they right. both lied to Congress. Right. But McCabe, he's a CNN contributor. Right. He gets, he actually gets airtime on TV right. to talk about the injustices that he actually committed. Right. About Roger, like, right. the, the double standard is what's sickening. And I think that's what my, it's so frustrating to us. Like, I don't care if we play hardball or if we play t-ball, but we got to be playing the same right, game. I mean, it's and like you not, and Hunter, people say. Yeah, they, they, they still do this thing. I mean, the left is sort of outraged because Joe Biden is all of the things they say Trump is but isn't. Right, you know, right. <laughs> corrupt, slow, not particularly bright, you know, corrupt family and kids. I mean, these are what they tried to do to me. What, again, you think that if I would have lied to Congress... Do you, oh. think that it, you, you think I'd be here right now, no, or would I be in jail? You would have been sharing a cell with Avenatti. And, and that's the reality. <laughs> Unlike Hunter, I yes. actually did 30 hours of testimony. Now, right. the difference is I took a 20-minute unsolicited meeting set up and paid for by the DNC. Okay? Hunter takes millions from a corrupt Ukrainian oil company. He doesn't speak Ukrainian. He knows nothing about oil or gas. Right. But, like, that's okay. They don't even need to hear from him, let alone get in trouble for it. And, you know, that's what's disgusting to the American people. It's like there is not... You know, equal justice under the law. Right. If you're one of them, you're good. You can get away with any of these things. If you are one of the Trump people but flip on Trump, you're also good. Right. Uh, if right. you're a Trump guy, right. it's over. Like Bolton. Now, all of a sudden, he's here. Now, we, we just mentioned... That'll last about two more days. Joe Biden. I mean, the guy looks like a, a beaten-down ghost. And he really limped out of New Hampshire. What, what do you think's next for Sleepy Joe? Retirement? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, come on. It's, the whole thing's been a joke. I mean... Joe Biden, for the last six months, we've been watching him say, like, well, it's really beautiful here in Florida. To, well, <laughs> Joe, you're in Iowa, buddy. Right, like, right, right, like right. Oh, oh, that's what... Right. If Trump did that once, he's got, he would have dementia. He's, there's something yeah, wrong. Yeah, I mean, he's it's like I'm more surprised this guy lasted this long. Joe Biden doesn't know where he is 50% right. of the time, and it's like, no, no, you're the presumptive nominee. So what do you think is going to happen? I mean, Bernie looks like he's got a lot of momentum. I think they're going to do yeah, whatever they can to screw Bernie. You, you think Bernie's going to get screwed? You think he's going to get screwed by Bloomberg or someone I, else? I think a combination of both. I think Elizabeth Warren is over. Like, I mean, you know, right. she's, she's got, you know, one 1,024th of a campaign left. And right. she, but she's going to sit there because she's going to play... You know, let's let's break up Bernie for the DNC, and they'll take care of her with some sort of other you know quid pro quo later. Right, like right. just she'll, you know, she'll figure it that, out at the keep convention. Keep that voter away from him so he can't win. So they're all working together against Bernie, which is sort of amazing to see. Because honestly, the last time the DNC used their brilliant uh, you know tactics to rig a primary. They gave us Hillary Clinton. It backfired. And I thank them for it, guys. Thank you so yes, much. It usually does it, it backfire. Was, it was a great result. You were out in New Hampshire the other day, yeah. and uh, the, the crowd started, uh, I think they were chanting something. Let's listen to what they were chanting. Number 45, 46 is next. Now, was Ivanka jealous? Or were they chanting for Ivanka... Well, I got, I got it a little it, bit after you? my speech, too. So that was like the third <laughs> time I heard that one. Honestly, listen, it, it's, it's a great honor. It's incredibly yeah, yeah. humbling. Uh, you know, 
there's no greater compliment than having that many real Americans just being into you. Pence like, is mad cool. at you, by the way. I, he didn't like those chants. Listen, you hey, can tell. My only focus is 2020. Right. It's I want to see this winning continue. You're seeing the results. The people there are seeing the results. The people at the little stores and places that we stopped in like 20 stops throughout New Hampshire along the way uh, the other day, they're all coming up to me. Everyone yeah. sees it. You went to a I lot of diners keep that up going. there. Oh, I did do a, a lot, lot of, of maple diner syrup stops. up there. All right, throw that some of your hair right there. That's how it gets so I, I, slick. Well, that, what do you think you know, this is? This is 100% uh, New Hampshire maple syrup until right. we go somewhere else where we're primarying. <laughs> All right, thanks, Don.